Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another exciting Swift tutorial lesson on the best YouTube channel in the world. In today's video, I would like to go over the notion of something called a variadic arguments. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, basically variadic arguments are going to make your lives a lot easier. Uh, whenever I'm writing out contract projects or working on consulting gigs in general, I rely on a heavy tool set of uh, extensions, functions, methods, and subclasses that uh, help me speed up my development process. And so, you know, what exactly do I mean? Well, whenever I type out code and submit it as my code base to a particular client, I like to make my code as concise as possible and also uh, very easy to maintain and build out further features, you know, later down the road. So having said all that, the first question that we have to answer here is, uh, what exactly are variadic arguments? Well, let me kind of illustrate this by going on to here. Here is a diagram of the uh, Tinder course project on the left side of the screen. You can see that we have a lot of different UI elements that we have to construct and add onto our main view controller, right? So first couple of things on the top left, we have something like the profile icon image view. And then we have the flame icon, the message icon on the top right, and also the top and next card right on the left side here. So after you instantiate all these UI elements, you have to add it into the views uh, sub view hierarchy, right? And the standard way of doing this is perfectly fine. Uh, all you have to do is to make five calls to the view using view dot add sub view and add sub view, add sub view, add sub view, and add sub view. As you can see, you're repeating yourself a lot with these five functions that do pretty much the same thing. So the question here is, is there a better way of actually executing these five calls with just one line of code? Well, that's kind of the magic of the variadic arguments. So let me show you what this extension function looks like right here. As you can see, we have view.add sub views with an S at the very end. And all it's doing is it's taking in all the views by a separation of a comma here. So you see profile icon, flame icon, message icon, top card, next card. Now imagine if you want to draw out the rest of this entire Tinder screen on the left side, right? You have a lot more views on the bottom. If you want to add all your sub views, you have to add five more things on the bottom, increasing the amount of code that you type. And uh, using this variadic function down here, all you have to do is to add on to the very end of this list with some more commas and some more UI elements, and then you're good to go. And so now that you see how variadic arguments can help you in your everyday life, let's now dive into Xcode and see exactly how to write out one of these functions right now. Hey guys, before we dive into the live coding example for today's video, I just wanted to let you know that I'm providing a completely free download for all of the designs, assets, and mocks for the brand new App Store course. Uh, what you can do is download the file and open it up inside of Adobe XD. If you want to export these icons, you can zoom into any of these guys down below here, here, and here. Just click in and export it, and you can use it anywhere inside of your other projects or this particular one right here. Uh, one nice thing about looking at these layout files is that you can kind of see exactly all of the screens for your application from a bird's eye view by just zooming out like so. And you can dive down into all of these particular lessons where we learn exactly how to build out the features inside the App Store course. All right, so make sure to head down into the description for the free download link. Let's get into the live coding example right now. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to the live coding session for today's video. Uh, I've gone ahead and created a brand new single view application project right over here. As you can see, inside of our view did load is the example that we saw earlier. We are instantiating five UI elements right here on line 13 to line 17. Uh, the standard way of adding all of these subviews into the views subview hierarchy is to call these five functions here, add subview all the way down to line 26. And the question we want to answer in today's video is how exactly can we write out this variadic argument function that will eventually look like this here. So view, add subview with a S, so let me just put an S right here, and we are going to say profile icon image view and flame icon image view and then message icon image view and then so on and so forth. But right now you can't exactly type this out because we don't have this extension function just yet. So why don't I show you exactly how to create this function by using an extension on UI view here. So just go anywhere inside of your project and type extension UI view 
For this guy, we are going to use a function called add sub views with an S at the very end. Uh, the way you write out variadic argument functions is to use an argument like so. And then for the actual argument type, you want to say UI view and dot, dot, dot. So that's how you specify something that has a varying length of arguments, just like this, so dot, 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 and you're good to go. If you try to figure out what the view type is right here, you see views is an array of UI view objects like so. So this guy basically turns into an array whenever you want to access it from your parameter right there. So pretty easy stuff. Uh, what you want to do is for this views right here, you want to execute a for each uh, loop on each one of these view objects here. And I'll use the shorthand of adding the subview right here and using dollar sign zero. Uh, you don't need these parentheses, so I'll just remove that. And basically we're just adding all of these subviews coming from this parameter right here into the views uh, subview hierarchy, which allows us to do something like this. Now you're seeing a little bit of a compiler error down here because it's expecting you to pass in this views parameter as the argument name on the left side, right? So now that you have all this kind of compiling correctly, you can hit a comma, you can add the top card view and then the next card view uh, from line 22 and line 23. So that's pretty much how you would write an variadic argument function. Uh, one thing that you probably want to do is to make this guy go away. So what I mean is this views parameter, you don't want to kind of repeat yourself, right? So view .adsub views views. That's not exactly the convention that you should follow when programming in the Swift programming language. So the way that you would fix this issue is to remove that here and just use an underscore right in front of the first parameter here and you should be okay. You can now build your project and everything is going to be okay. You see the highlight is coming back and that means that uh, the project is no longer having any compiler errors. All right, so that's just one instance as to how you would use this function here. You can pretty much uh, use any type of argument type for the variadic variable right here. So what I mean is, let's say you want to extend the UI stack view uh, class. So let's say extension and UI stack view. This is actually a function that I always use inside of my external projects. And the way you want to kind of fix this stack view is to make sure that you can add a range sub views very similar to the function that we have above. So UI view dot dot dot. And I find that Whenever I want to add a range of sub views to a stack view, so let's say for example here, let's stack view equals UI stack view. So stack view, you can call this function called add a range sub view. And this guy is the extension function up here. And you kind of run into the very similar problem of writing this code out many, many, many times, which means that you're going to repeat yourself. So instead of having this call right here, we're going to use uh, add a range sub views instead. So this guy is very similar. So views uh, for each right here. Let's use a closure. And we are going to say add a range sub view with the singular sub view and just use dollar sign zero like so. This is going to make your life a lot easier in terms of adding additional views to your stack view. All right, so that's kind of how that works. Uh, again, you can extend this to use any variable type. So for example, you can say a function right here and let's say, you know, add integers, you can use, uh, let's see, underscore numbers, and then you can use int dot dot dot. This is going to act as the variable argument list. So if you access numbers, you can see it's an array of integers like so. Alrighty, everybody, that's going to be it for today's live coding video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to download the project for everything that you saw in today's lesson, make sure to head down below in the description for the download link. If you want to learn more about Swift development just in general and how to build out sophisticated projects using the Swift programming language, make sure to also check out the couple of courses down in the description. That's going to be it for today. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye, guys.